to my channel if this is your first time of checking out my channel hi welcome so i create videos centered on motherhood lifestyle beauty fashion food you name it as long as i love it i would share it on this channel um so please kindly subscribe to my channel it's totally free to subscribe and um obviously please like this video comment down below and jollof rice is something that we love eating as nigerians we love nigerian jollof i would also put a detailed recipe over on my blog i will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out okay so without further ado let's get cooking so these are the items that i am going to use to make my chola fries today um the kind people at organico real foods sent me this chopped tomatoes um to make a recipe with it and they also sent me some sardines and some mackerel fish and tuna they also kindly sent me a chocolate bar and some of their wild thing organic snacks so I already parboiled my rice and then I've got my meat and I've got my beef stock that I'm going to use for the food. that if you have tomato paste you could actually put the tomato paste just after you add your onions so you can let the tomato paste fry for a bit before you put your blended tomatoes and pepper in you understand what I mean yeah so I I'm not using tomato paste for this um, this recipe but if you have tomato paste you can add tomato paste basically what tomato paste does is it makes your jello fries redder yeah it makes it redder but what I'm going to use to substitute that is onga so I'm going to use this onga the red ones to make my jollof rice a bit redder if that makes sense but basically um, your jollof rice doesn't have to be red 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 but although the red one makes it look like makes it look like party rice but this is a lunch menu so we're not doing party rice but this trust me try this my recipe and you're gonna enjoy it for your lunch I will top up my jollof rice with this stew at the end of the cooking. All right.
that it's nice and soft. Let's have a taste of that. I'm just gonna taste that. Mmm, it's nice and soft. turn our rice we're going to turn it and don't worry if your rice starts to burn it's part of the jollofness of it all right it's nice for it to burn and have that taste and that smell my kitchen smells nice at the moment then we're going to add a bit more of our sauce. Remember this sauce? Yeah, we're gonna add a bit more. So we're gonna put everything inside. I've put everything inside. And we'll stir one more time. So I use basmati rice for this. So, we're going to let this burn, just a bit, not too much. Right, so we're going to check it again. And now I feel like the rice is ready. Let's have a look. Ooh, just look at that good stuff. Right, so let's give it a stir. Give it a stir. Yes, looks nice. So I've just put off the fire now, and our rice looks good.